Hey, welcome guys. What's up? It is James J, the Mortgage Boss. Welcome to the Mortgage Boss Podcast. And today I am excited to have one of my good friends, Jennifer Vosco, on with me. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Hey, James. I'm good. 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 All right. So we've got a lot to get into today. And uh, Jennifer is going to uh, get into some real estate talk. We're going to talk some insurance, uh, some fitness. We got a lot of things in common and we will get right into that right now. Jennifer, what's going on? How is life treating you? Really? Really, James? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the truth. Give you me the good. truth. Transition, is transition is always good. Lots of transition. Change is never easy, uh, especially as you are, uh, especially when it comes to real estate, right? Uh, we're both in in the in the real estate business, and so we get to see what other people go through. Yes, and uh, when we go through it ourselves, it doesn't make it any easier. <laughs> no, it does not make it any easier. So, yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm excited to have you on and talk to you. Um, yeah. You have. Uh, been in in the real estate game now actually technically you might have actually been born in it because your mom is a real estate agent yeah, runs in my blood real yes runs so you were destined for this and so yeah. um talk uh, got to talk a little bit about you know the 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 fact that yeah your mom has been in the business now how long how many years has she been in maybe 10 okay so maybe longer at least try. But she's oh, been yeah. trying to get you in the business is she not hmm has she been trying to get you in the business? Um, yes, she has. She's yes. in Arizona. We're from yes. Texas, but she's out there. She's going to move back and we'll, hopefully we'll partner together here. Yeah. So, yeah. So your mom is, is a real estate agent and, uh, and, and you are as well. So yeah. I want to kind of get your, your input on what's going on in the market right now. Uh, there's a lot of craziness and I mean that in a good way uh, mm -hmm. because from what I see on, on my side of the business, uh, a lot of buyers are in multiple offer situations often. Mm -hmm. uh, not enough inventory overall. And I see a lot of people just bidding over asking price. Now, that depends because I know you do a lot of the hiring stuff, but you do some other stuff as well. So I want you to kind of talk about that. And then we're going to transition into uh, something else that you've added on mm -hmm. in the repertoire with the insurance. Yes. So uh, that's interesting because I think a lot of people are going to learn some things that maybe they didn't know. And we're not talking about homeowners insurance, right? It's not what we're talking about. No. Uh, we'll get into that. But yeah, so tell me a little bit about what's going on with uh, what, what do you think market wise, what, what things are you seeing being out there? Because you do do um, a lot of the, the, the higher end stuff as well. But uh, what are you seeing? What are your thoughts as far as where, where we are today? Uh, and right now, you know, interest rates are incredibly low. I keep telling people, go own a home. This is the time. Go do it now. Yeah, it's true. Um, I'm coming, I'll speak personally because mm -hmm. I lived in a higher end home. Yep. I was on the market for probably around a year and a half, a little under a year and a half and just sold yeah. during this time. So I don't know. But the, the good thing is it sold. The bad thing is when I went to get my house, literally a month before COVID, I had another buyer. Yeah. And I was looking in my neighborhood to stay, and there was a lot of inventory homes. A month later, after COVID hit, my house sells, and now there's no inventory, no inventory right. up in price to get a home. Right. So maybe expect that. And it is, they're flying off the shelf, especially the $300,000 range, $200,000. Yes. You have yes. to act quick if you want to do anything with it, because they are definitely, I do shop with that. I was shopping right before mine for 200,000 for a client. And if you don't do it that day, if you're not quick, like it's not going to be there. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I've noticed that a lot too. I mean, because I'll, you know, people will call me for a pre-qualification letter and they're like, oh, too late. <laughs> By the time, and I'm quick. Like I respond quickly, but I've seen so much of, uh, literally, I've seen people overbidding. I've seen, yeah. um, you know, hey, I'm, I'm I'm making an offer, but I need five different prequels, um, mm -hmm. which you know I'm, I can do. But 
they do it because they're like, hey, if this one doesn't work out, I'm going to go to this one. Um, and so they've got like backup plans for other for other homes that they're interested in because these houses are just not lasting. So, um, so interest rate wise, like, what are you what are you telling your your you know your clients as far as or clients that maybe people maybe be um, that may be sitting on a fence, for example, right now? Because I try to encourage people right now. I've never seen interest rates where they are right now. Never, never. Right. Even 2008, 2009. Yes, rates dropped tremendously back then because of the, the whole crash. Mm-hmm. But right now, I am seeing interest rates. I've never, I've never seen it before. Um, so, what are you? What are you? Are you encouraging your your buyers or even sellers for that matter? Because this benefits them too. Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah things are moving quick. I guess if you have the time and the patience, and you can get a mortgage, do it. Yeah. Um, rentals are hard to find too because some people can't stay in their home and now they have to rent. So yes. um, I personally was trying to buy um, because I I want to be settled and yep. and um, everything, but it's not easy. I had to you know possibly get help from my dad or whatever. But it's yeah. do what you can to try to get one, and you maybe give yourself a little extra time to close for sure <laughs> because they're, everybody's backed up. People are refinancing. People are rushing the market so yeah 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 that's huge that is that is huge i'm so glad you brought this up because everybody is so overwhelmed right now and and listen it's a it's a good problem if you want to say it's a good problem to have right however as a buy specifically buyers and sellers for sure it is it is hard because the the uh appraisers overwhelmed Yes. Uh, inspect even inspectors like it's crazy right now because because of the rates being so low you got a ton of people refinancing right now a ton mm-hmm. and understandably so they're able to save themselves so much money with the way interest rates are right now yeah. so but yeah you you have to keep that in mind especially if you're a buyer i try and tell people don't schedule anything until we have really a clear to close um, I tell people don't schedule anything because it just adds to the frustration. I know you're dealing with some of this personally right now, mm-hmm. but I try and encourage people like, I know you want to schedule this. You got to schedule that. Just don't do it until we actually have a clear to close because mm-hmm. we just don't know. You know, and, and honestly, even the clear to close sometimes does not mean we don't need anything else. Right. <laughs> um, I, didn't realize about this. I wish we would just change yeah. the terminology yeah. because as a consumer, if I hear clear to close, I'm thinking, hey, good. You don't need anything else from me. Not always the case. No, no. not always the case. Yeah. Like I told you, my dad's helping me, and he just called me last night. We said, and said, oh no, they just called me. They want a paternity test to make sure I'm. Not <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I guess um, that's, what that's what they want. Yeah. A lot of people, have those, but yeah, it, it is. It is challenging. It is a. It's a very challenging environment to yeah. get. Uh, to get people in it and get these close dates, you know, 30 day closes are really, uh, it's not impossible. Like we do it all the time, mm-hmm. but you got to have your stuff together. Uh, yeah. You got to have it together. And uh, sometimes if there's just a little glitch and then, you know, if we're going to wait a little bit longer for some of these appraisals, especially VA, VA is really, VA is always usually a little longer anyway. Right. Um, now it's just even, it's, it's longer, you know, right. as, as I sit here, uh, the first first part of July, it, it's just taking a little bit longer for these appraisals. So people have to keep that in mind. Um, right. you, know, you kind of guide guide people and let them know. Listen, give them that extra. Give yourself some extra time. Uh, mm-hmm. And now again, you're going through it personally, so you can really address it. You're going through it at one of the toughest times, mm-hmm. uh, probably in I'm gonna say probably in in history as far as the the level of overwhelm. Yeah. Um, and the fact that a lot of these appraisers and all of the other people, third party, are just so overwhelmed with everything. So I want you to talk about this because a lot of people think, okay, COVID's going on. Uh, we are now in what month? Let's see, five going into month five now or three? I don't know, three. I don't know. Four. I don't Four. know where I am. Plus, what month it is, James? I yeah. Can't <laughs> <laughs> Every day is something new here. Yes. Yeah, so, what what are your thoughts on like how has business been? for you maybe the last year or four months has it been better than you thought it would be because i think a lot of people think everything just completely fell off a cliff and the reality is it didn't no it did not no um insurance i was more nervous about than real estate um, right. because yeah i work with company owners on the insurance side 
real estate was, I knew that was going to be okay because people are either downsizing yes. or, you know, so there's always going to be movement. Yeah. I just want them to know I'm available to help. But yeah. um, insurance more had me nervous because I didn't, I wanted to be sensitive to company owners who didn't know what was happening to their companies. Right. So I didn't really um, push that too much, even though what I have to offer is super helpful and probably yep. need it right now more than ever. Yeah. Um, I didn't, I wasn't as afraid of the real estate because I know people are always going to be transitioning, especially when something big happens. Like, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I mean, a lot, a lot of stuff got pushed back. So, you know, maybe people that were going to be moving, there's such a, such a huge domino effect because there are a lot of people that were planning to move in the summer right? or before March, before COVID hit. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they were going to put their house on the market in March or April and all that stuff just got completely changed pushed back, canceled in some cases. Actually, probably in a lot of cases, people that were thinking they had a job to go to, well, that job may not exist anymore. Right. And so it's such a huge domino effect with the real estate market in particular for, for, for us. And you you also had mentioned the, the insurance. And so I want to transition into that because I think this is really cool that you've now added that part to basically essentially to your, to your repertoire. So we are, and we're again, we're not talking homeowner insurance. We're actually talking AFLAC and yep, the duck. for those that don't know AFLAC, like get the duck out of here. Like, yeah, yeah, what's wrong with you? I didn't know what it was either. Okay. I just well, knew it. Every, you know, listen, they, 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 the duck. clearly they've done a good job marketing because I don't know too yeah. many people who don't know the duck. Right. <laughs> Right. Which is brilliant marketing. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, so take me, walk me through this, like what you have maybe learned since you've um, added that and, and now offering AFLAC, right. first of all. And then the second thing I want you to talk about is some of the different things that you guys offer that, especially right now, because I know one of the things has to do with, um, you know, people that being sick. Now, mm -hmm. I don't know how AFLAC is handling the COVID. This is a whole nother level, but I know there's a lot of benefits to AFLAC. So tell me a little bit about that, um, you know, what you've learned and some of the benefits and some of the products that you guys actually have to offer that, that might be able to help people now right. and moving forward. Right. So AFLAC, I'm pretty passionate about it because mm -hmm. it's super affordable yep. and it's, we really try to talk to small business owners. We will do direct policies, but when you're a small business, which is three or more people who yes. sign up for something, then you qualify because okay. you get more things offered to you. Like you get hospital, you get um, extra coverage on accidental. If anything happens accidental. Okay. AFLAC is, is not health insurance. You can have it with health, ins health insurance or without. Right, right. It's basically like almost lifestyle insurance. So you get paid based on what happens to you. It pays you directly. So you can set up your bank account and um, some of the policies like accident, if you go do a wellness checkup every year, you get $60 back. Um, things like that. You just send in your, you go and you know you ask for your itemized receipt, you send it in, right. they come back. They use codes based on what's happened to you. Okay. So, um, if you do it through a business, you know your age range goes up to 75. So we have cancer policies. Um, we have hospital accident. Um, we have um, where, you know, if you can't work, disability. Um, so if you get sick with COVID and you can't work over two weeks, they start paying you back a portion of your paycheck. That's wow. why you do it through your employer. Yeah. So you can't get disability unless your employer offers this to right. you. Right. So, um, if you're a small business owner and you cannot get health insurance for your people, you can offer them AFLAC and it can be taken out of their check, their payroll. Okay. And honestly, some of it, it's like a Whataburger mill a week for some of these policies. They're very expensive and it pays them directly. And after you make your first payment, the company will pay it. You just deduct it from the paycheck. They can, if they don't work for you anymore, they can accept, they can take the policy with them. So it's transferable. Yes, which is awesome. Yeah. 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 So with the work one, so if you're not able to work, are there any, and this is one of the things that I, uh, I'm pretty sure um, is, is one of the 
benefits through with 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 Affleck is one number one you already mentioned that it is transferable, so it doesn't matter if you're at that specific employer or not. It can go with you wherever you go. As long as they make one premium payment, you right. can, they can then you can take over those payments. Yes, mm -hmm. um, but you know you guys don't have like a whole bunch of. And correct me if I'm wrong on this, but there's not a whole bunch of like hoops to jump through no. when you get. And this is when, and I, and I know enough about Affleck to know that, um, you know, something you guys are quick to to get people the money that they need. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong on this. No, it's true. It's a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Yeah. I'm your contact person. Like if you if I sign your business up, you talk to me. You know, you set up your own portal. You just send in those receipts. Whatever happened to you based on a hospital or a doctor or visit. Our cancer policy is amazing. Like um, they have one of the biggest cancer research hospitals for children and children get treated there for free. Aflac, we, our finances go towards that. Okay. Um, and so we pay for that as an employee and um, they do it for free for people. They have their whole floor for children for cancer. So our cancer okay. policy, it's free to children. You just pay for you, you and your spouse, you individually right. with the family. Um, basically the cancer policy is, um, if you haven't been diagnosed within five years, you can get on it. It lasts forever. We count children up to age 26, so they can stay on your policy and then they can be transferred to them. Okay. Um, and then the younger you are, the lower your yep. premiums and they never change. So absolutely. So I, and I can speak to the cancer policy because we have it with you. Yeah. <laughs> so I have a wife who is in the cancer medical field, essentially. <laughs> uh, so she sees this all the time. Yeah. And she is a huge proponent of, of having this. Uh, and she tells a ton of people about this, by the way. So, uh, but yeah, she's got a whole different perspective than most people because she's constantly in in and out of, uh, you know, well, not now, but normally in and out of physicians' offices and she's helping patients that have cancer and she's in that leukemia space. So uh, this is so important. And you said something, I want you to say it again because this is so important. The younger you are, mm -hmm. The less expensive. So, what do you say to the young people? Because listen, you're, you obviously you you when you're in your twenties and thirties, this is not something that like eh, you don't think about it, right? Life insurance is the same way. It, it's the same way. Um, what do you say? Because it's very cheap. It's very inexpensive. Very Literally, like seven to nine dollars a week. Yes. Out yeah. of your paycheck, you just skip on going out on a fast food run. And yeah. the good thing about the cancer policy is too, is so basically it pays out in a lump sum. Like if you get a diagnosis or your child, right. I have five kids. So I just pay for myself. And right now, if something happened and I just signed up, they get a $4,000, I get $4,000 in my bank account as soon as right. they're diagnosed. And anything yeah. that happens after that is, it has a price to it. Yeah. They do cover mileage. They, you know, they give you money back. If you have to drive to Dallas for a certain treatment mm -hmm. or um, there's so many things they help with. Sorry, it's my word. Um, but every year you don't use it, it adds $500 to each person's initial payout. So, oh, wow. Yeah. That's so awesome. If you don't use it for 10 years, 15 years, and you keep it, it's adding $500 per person. Yeah. And these are all transferable. They can take them with them. We also have insurance policies as well, but... We really focus on the hospital. Hospital is good for COVID because yep. for any reason you go to the hospital, if you get stitches, anything, there's a price. Yeah. Tag. We have ICU coverage. Um, our accidental policy, if you're with a business and you get it, if your kids are in any kind of sport and they hurt themselves, any kind of group fitness right. and accident coverage, yeah. um, you get 25% more uh, back to you based on what happened to them. Wow. Um, you, yeah. So honestly, it's, it's so, I don't know why every business doesn't just offer it because it doesn't have to come out of their pocket. You can yeah. offer money for your, you could do $10 a person if you want and just give them a benefit. You know, it's really a love. It's really something that a, a business owner can do to be like, Hey, I care about you. I want to offer this to you. Yes, for sure. And, easy. and then it takes a lot off of their back too. If something happens, you don't feel as bad because you've offered this thing to them. Yeah that would really benefit their family. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things like any insurance. I mean, I think people are, 
people just think, oh, it's not a, it's not a big deal. It's a, what, listen, if COVID is not a wake up call for people to understand that anything could pop, anything could happen. Like anything, the whole freaking world was shut down. And maybe shutting down again for all we know. We just don't know. I know. So if, I hope not. I pray that to God. But it's just, you know, we see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Um, and for people just to have this this mentality or this this uh, mindset of it's I can wait, I can wait, I can wait. Listen, we don't know what's gonna happen. Nobody knows. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I feel like it's uh, to me, it's a to me, it's a no brainer, especially as a business owner. Uh, right. even for individuals, I think it's just a no brainer. It doesn't make any sense not to have it. Um, even our accident policy comes with a death rider. So if somebody, God forbid, happened to die and you have that coverage, some there's a beneficiary of fifty thousand dollars. Somebody's going to get paid just for right. having an accident coverage. I mean, there's just so many smart things about it. For yeah, people. that's why I love it because health insurance. I have to get it for myself. It's almost five hundred dollars, and yeah. I still have to pay five thousand dollars to use it before yeah. I get to it. Yeah, and this is just an expensive. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, so I was like just cutting out, cutting out the middleman. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's kind of what it feels to me. It doesn't pay a doctor. It doesn't. Yeah. You look like don't have to use. I don't ask where you use that money. Yeah. You know, like it's just to help you yeah. when stuff is coming out of your pocket. Yeah. So yeah, people really, really need to to uh, to to do their research. Reach out to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you guys have questions, definitely you want to reach out to Jennifer. But I, I think it is such a no brainer to get right. this type of stuff. It, you know, it, again, if, if this is not a wake up call for people that look, we, we just don't know what might happen tomorrow. Nobody knows. Mm-hmm. So um, I, I am I'm a huge proponent of, of Aflac specifically. Um, you know, I don't honestly I don't know any other companies that offer. I'm sure there probably are some, but they do such a damn good job of marketing. <laughs> Nobody knows what it is. That's because they want you to talk to us. But right. say, hey, what is that? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, uh, definitely, yeah. You guys have questions about this Aflac? Please touch base with Jennifer. But yeah, we I have it, so it's not like uh, I'm just uh, telling people, "Hey, go get it." Like I have, it. so uh, I am a absolute believer in, in what you guys have to offer there. So now, well, all of this has to, to kind of ties in. We talk about obviously insurance uh, and accidents and things that might happen in health and fitness. So. We, we got to talk about this because I'm constantly seeing you on Instagram and you are a, a fitness fanatic, <laughs> much like I am, only I don't look like you. Yes, you do. I'm I'm more 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 more. Than me. Just a little more chocolate. <laughs> <It's cute. laughs> so we have got to talk about this because, um, you know, funny thing is probably a lot of people probably know you now. They probably don't even know what you they. And I'm the same way. So when I'm, you know, I'm working out and I'll, I'll record some things, but you, you do, you're on another level of it, but um, people probably think that's what you do for a living. Right. I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have like eight jobs. Okay. That's what I, I'm like taking on your wife. Yeah, I wish. I don't, yeah, think, yeah. I don't think she's my, six. I don't. My she, wife works her butt off. She, she's she, a wonder woman. She she is the hardest working woman. Actually, she might want to, she's probably the hardest working person that I know, period. Like she, she yeah, is. She, she's awful. Awesome. Me too. But uh yeah, so you're you're uh you're on Instagram. I actually put put this up so people can go follow Jennifer on Instagram and you can see her workout. So I wanted I want you to talk about how long I mean, because you've been in health and fitness for a while now. Yeah. Um, but what what was the I guess the the push for you to start posting it and and you know what what feedback have you received from it? Because I watch you, I see what you're doing. Right. And I'm, like, eh, I'm gonna go over here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, James, you know, um, I, so I've had five babies, and uh-huh. I've always been. Um, I just like to stay fit because I feel better about myself and. I feel like um, I've also been in um, environments where I have a lot of beautiful people in my face and that, mm-hmm. can be, you know, that can take a toll on you. But yeah, I feel like yeah. personally, I just, for me, it's a mental release. Yes. You know, um, if I don't do it, I don't feel so great anymore. And I think people forget past that point. Like when you start, you don't look forward to it. But after you do it, you feel terrible not doing it. So and, true. Yeah. So, so true. 
yeah, so with each baby I had, I would get in there as quick as I could and try to get back. And the more I had, the longer it took. I think the longest for me was like nine months of like killing it, but you stick with it. And then your body is like, oh, this is what you do. Right. Um, I'm passionate about it because I think it, the better we take care of ourselves, the better we're able to do anything else, you know, and the more we have to give. Um, yeah in every area. Um, I am so with you on this. Okay, yeah. so we gotta, can, we, can we show one of your, your workouts? Oh, what? This is, oh, I'm <laughs> sure. why not? Let's see. Oh gosh. Yeah, oh. so <laughs> this is you on Instagram. So just to give people a, a snippet of, of what you do and, and the stuff that you post, your workouts are, are awesome. Um, but yeah, so I am, I am so with you. So. Uh, for people that may not know, you you were a group fitness instructor. For yeah, because you're your wife. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's like, you can do this. I was like, yes, I did which it. Is same, I did it. Which I is the same reason it. I'm a group fitness instructor because of my wife. Yeah, I know. Maybe the warning about her, and you didn't listen. But people love you, and maybe yeah. one. I'm hoping to one day get back to it when my life kind of gets more settled. But but. Um, the I funny do personal thing now. Yes, but your workouts are amazing. And I mean, absolutely Thank amazing. Thank you. Uh, the stuff that you do. And honestly, I look at you sometimes, I'm like, I don't even know if I could do that, Jennifer. <laughs> it looks easy. Try it. It does, it. It yeah, does look easy. It. Especially guys, they're like, oh, bands. And I'm like, right. oh, try it. Let's do try it. it. Exactly. They're like, one round, like, oh, I'm done. I'm like, no, you're good. You're good. Yeah. So, um, you and I used, actually used to take, so I would tell people that like, I actually used to take class and um, you were the reason why, yeah, my wife has something to do with it, but mm -hmm. I love taking your class. I did. Yeah, you're sweet. You don't have to, you know, I know you don't like to have compliments, but the reality is your class is really what got me more into spin. Uh, mm -hmm. Honestly, mm -hmm. I was doing it a little. I'm honored. It's true. You are the impetus for me. You are. So um, I started doing it and and I, I do. I love it. I absolutely love it. And so, but honestly, a lot of that has to do with me going to your class. Because when I was going to your class, I wasn't even thinking about teaching at all. It was right. not in my mind. So, but I enjoyed it so much. And my wife kind of violent told me that I was going to do it. Yeah. And I did it. And so here we are now, almost four years now. Common denominator. Your wife is a very influential person. She is. She's she a, is. Um, she's a shooting star. But hey, yeah, I mean, we need a video story. of your class, James. Do I what? Do we have a video of your class? We're gonna watch. We don't want you to. are like DJ James, DJ Jazzy me. James. <laughs> you should be. This is not about me. This is about you. Come on. But. <laughs> I agree with you 1000% as far as what it does for you, your own mental, first and mm -hmm. foremost. Mm -hmm. uh, and then how that just translates into every other area of your mind. So when I teach, I'm always telling people about, you know, what this does, this hour that we spend together, uh, but it translates into the to rest of your day. Right. If you do it right, it will. Mm -hmm. um, and you're right. You know, there are days I don't want to work out, mm -hmm. but after I finish it, actually, today was a good example. And, and I did work out this morning. I did not feel it this I just wasn't. No. Um, you know, everybody's not going to have a great day, uh, mm -hmm. but it's so important. And I think more people, especially with uh, everybody being stuck at home for March, April, pretty much May. Mm -hmm. uh, this was so, for me anyway, um, yes, you can work out at home. I get it. Uh, but I, I think uh, for me, I wasn't working out as much. There's, there's no question. I'm not. I wasn't working out as much as I normally did during everything. But I appreciate it so much more now that the gym is open. I know everybody's not back at the gym, but mm -hmm. I, I cannot agree with you more about the the mental and what it does for you. Yes, the, the look. Yes, yeah. but just the mental, the mental clarity that you get. Mm -hmm. It helps. Yeah, I have a few. That's where my business has kind of picked up is working people out at their homes. Yeah, because gyms and they don't want to be around a lot of people. So yes. that's been a blessing I wasn't expecting, but I love it. Like I like and I like watching their excitement when they see change or right. take hold of your life because you do have the ability to take hold of your life and make those changes. Yep. 
And so I get excited when I see that happening for people. Yeah. So some of these work. So what do you do? Where you? How do you come up with these workouts? Because, like I said, I see you do stuff, and I'm like, man, how did you come up with that? <laughs> we have to get creative. Like I go all over the place. I'll piecemeal things I've seen. Sometimes we'll just make it up on the spot. I just. Yeah. So the way I do workouts is I'll do like three days a week, a lower body and two days of upper body. And then I'll have combination days if I do more, okay. but I like to burn out one area. So I'll yeah. usually these workouts are like six exercises that will be for lower body or upper. Some are full body, but I'll usually add a core in too. But yeah. my belief is when you work your bigger muscle systems, you're, you're going to be burning more fat in general. So you don't have to focus on just your core. Um, and most of the movements I do are compound. So you're doing all the, all the body parts, but you're focusing on one. Like that one is definitely arms and core, but mostly oh my, gosh. my um, glutes. So those look kind of easy, but then when you do them, you're like, oh. Listen, that is hard. That movement right there, Jennifer, that is hard off the floor. This Excuse one that hard on the floor. Is me. Yes, it's yeah. hard on the floor. So. It is. Yeah, there's um, so much we can do. We had to get creative because we didn't have a gym. Right. So this was my friend's garage, and yeah. um, we didn't have a ton of weights. So it forced me to get more creative with things we can do, which I like that too. Yeah. At first, we did not like it, and then we started liking it, and then I didn't want to go back to the gym, but I have been dabbling at the gym now, and I missed the heavy weights, and now I'm super sore. So I don't yeah. know. you got to change it up. None of my workouts are usually the same because I don't want people to get bored. I don't want to be bored. And yeah. most people just walk into the gym, grab the, do the same thing every time and go. And it's like, well, that's not fun, right? It's just yeah. check. They checked it off their little box. Yeah. Check box. So that's what I can bring to the table is something different. But. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys got to go follow Jennifer. So uh, it is at Jennifer Vosco on uh, Instagram. Uh, it is also the same on uh, Facebook, right? Just Jennifer Vosco Realtor on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, and the 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 workouts are amazing um what you're doing is, is awesome just really just really just pouring into other people because i know a lot of people watch you and they're just sitting on on the couch um watching you eating eating uh i've food. had a few people admit that but it's okay. i mean <laughs> but, one day they might get up you know that's exactly where i was going that's exactly okay, where i was sorry, going sorry. they're gonna watch you <laughs> and uh and be inspired by what you're doing and then look you're not you do it because you you don't have to do this you know mm -hmm. Do it because you want to share what you know, and you have a ton of knowledge in that in that that fitness space, uh, and now Aflac, and so uh, all that piled on the, the 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 real estate. Like you got it, Jennifer. Now we just got to get you more people to reach out to you, spread this Aflac love, and listen. Right. The more you do that physical activity, the less you might need Aflac. However, that, that should not stop you. But you can't stop an accident. Like if an accident was, happens, you, you're reading my mind. I was just about. To, <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep messing up. Muscles are not going to stop a car accident, right? Or like a weight falling on your toe. You know, it's okay. accident. Like if we knew it was going to happen, we wouldn't need the insurance. Yeah, like I would avoid it if I knew it was going to happen. I will just not go there because I know yeah. what's going to happen today. Yeah. So, but uh, listen, the workouts help you feel better. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it helps you live longer. Uh, and live a an all, all all around just a healthier, better life. Period. Yeah. But that does not stop the need for insurance. So, no. No. Um, so yeah, you guys reach out to Jennifer. Uh, all your contact information is uh, is on the screen here. So we've got your cell phone, your email, um, social media. Again, at Jennifer Vosco on um, Instagram and the Jennifer Vosco Realtor on Facebook. I appreciate you, Jennifer. Thank, Thank you so you. much. It was fun. <laughs> and uh, we, yeah, we will definitely, we'll talk again soon. Uh, if things change, if you've got some more information you want to share, uh, because yes, the show's called the Mortgage Box Podcast. It's not just about mortgages. It's about, it's about finances, right? And a large part of finances is insurance. Whether you want to, to, to know, to, yeah. to deal with it or not. Yeah. You That's need one of the biggest things that will take your finances away. For, no, no the offer I didn't get to say was we have WebMD. I mean, we have like a medical doctor online and it's very yeah. reasonable, um, free to companies for the first year. And then you can offer it to your employees. So That's they don't awesome. have to go into the doctor. They can get medicine from your app. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 
Yeah, it's you awesome. guys are awesome. Uh, the company, I feel like is, is an awesome company. They really are. Uh, they've been around for a very long time for a reason. Um, and like I said, I, I have it. So it's not just uh, just me pumping you up. Like it, it it's it's a great thing. And my mother in laws also had it for years. So I had a brother-in-law who was um, para, para, paraplegic. Right. She has a right. right. proponent right. of, of insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, she had I've like and hit it. It has paid dividends for her mm -hmm. for the course of my brother-in-law's life before he passed away. So huge testimonial for me personally and my wife because we we've seen how it's worked for my brother-in-law and my mother-in-law. Uh, and we believe in it as well. So again, you guys reach out to Jennifer. You got questions. Call, email her, reach out to her on Instagram. Check out those workouts. Let me know how they go. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know how they go. <laughs> Love the workouts, Jennifer. Thank you so Thank much. You. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right, guys, that is it. Make sure you go subscribe as well to the Texas Mortgage Boss Podcast. Uh, also check out YouTube as well. And we will see you guys on the next episode of the Texas Mortgage Boss. You guys take care. Bye.